it is Sunday afternoon. It's like 5.30. And I forgot to vlog this morning. Oops. Oops. We didn't do a whole hell of a lot. We went grocery shopping. And that's it, other than chores. I don't think we did anything else. We're meeting the kids and my son-in-law's parents for dinner. God, the sun's right in my face. This is why I joke about sometimes in this house needing indoor sunglasses, because of that, right, your face that here. right, oh, right there. Um, anyway, my mosquito bites I got at the wedding are slowly but surely going away, but like the ones in Hawaii, they're taking their time, and it's probably, my guess, is gonna be a good 10 days or so before they're gone and or stop itching because that's what happened in Hawaii. I think we came back from Hawaii, I was still itching them. Um, <laughs> I need to get some anti-mosquito spray before we go anywhere else. Anyway, the backyard is still kind of a mess, but Bob did get the pump out and the um, little box the pump sat in is all out. And, um, oops. Now, of course, his back is hurting, so <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. He needs to just take a break for a little bit. Anyway, I think we're going to go out to a local uh, barbecue place, I think, for dinner. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So we'll see. I've got nothing crafty done today yet. I'll do some drawings later, but that's it because, you know, it's Sunday and I've had stuff to do. So there you have it. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll Hello be back. Everybody. It is Monday afternoon on Memorial Day, May 29th, 2.28 p.m. Yes, I'm looking at the clock. Don't get excited. It's about 71 degrees, 72 outside. We've got doors open. Kids are coming over for a barbecue, so it's all good. It is Memorial Day here in the U.S., remembering our soldiers and military personnel who have given their life. We appreciate you. Anyway, uh, I have been doing a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> I did catch up the grandson's scrapbook. So far, I've been able to keep it up to date. He is only like seven weeks old, so you know, by the time he's like eight years old, I, I yeah, who knows what'll happen. Anyway, uh, the daughter's been out thrifting this morning, I'm assuming with her husband and son, and I guess she's bringing me something that she found that I need to repair for her, but it was a really good bargain. So, yeah. <laughs> and I walked away because Bob doesn't know it yet, but she found something for him too, a shirt, I think. I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, we're going to be having a family style barbecue. Um, adopted daughter Jenny and her husband may or may not be here. They had a late night leaky pipe emergency last night, which isn't good. So I am not sure what the situation is at their house right now, but um, of course that takes priority getting that taken care of. So it is a holiday though. So as long as they can stop the leak, figure out what the leak is, I would advise them not to repair it today. It'll be twice as much as if you wait till tomorrow. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's all for the minute. I'll be back. Good morning. It's obviously one of those, I don't know what to do with my hair, hair days, but you know, Anyway, it is 9.42 a.m. I gotta go run a couple of errands this morning. I wanna do them today rather than tomorrow. And then I can spend the rest of my week when I'm not trying to get to Portland International Airport to pick my father up. Um, working on some sewing projects I wanna get done this week. My daughter has asked me to um, make a couple projects for her and the baby. So I gotta work on, I need to go get some supplies for that. And I wanna finish my black denim jacket. So I actually need like one more pair of blue jeans. So yeah. All right, um, we're gonna go try to get that done this morning. And 
then we can spend the rest of the week sewing and or painting. I've got to do some drawings. I want to do some painting. So, yeah. I also need to edit the vlog, which should go up tomorrow, and I have not edited it yet. So, but bonus, my mosquito bites are significantly less itchy today. So, I guess you got to take the winds where you can, right? Okay, I'll be back. I vlogged enough today. <laughs> I came home from running errands and had lunch and immediately started back to work on the coat. She's just about done. The sleeves are a little tight for wearing with a long sleeve shirt, but honestly, it's an art piece. It's not that kind of coat. I would probably wear a tank top under it. Um, that being said, it's also really heavy because it's a lot of denim, but it is a cute coat. It is it is more of an art piece, but. I have this feeling I'm gonna enjoy wearing it anyway. Um, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> I don't know. I made a big mess, but I'm almost done. Yay! I'm trying to catch up on my soap opera, General Hospital. I'm a big fan, been a fan since I can remember. <laughs> since it was in black and white with Nurse Jessie. Who remembers her? Um, anyway, so we are going to go put the bottom band. I decided to put a pants waistband on the bottom and we're going to do that. And then she's done. All right, let's hope I don't hit any rivets. Cross your fingers. Of course, now that I said that, I probably jinxed myself. I haven't hit any metal rivets yet, but you know. All right, I'll be back. Coat's done. What do you think? Okay, so this is the coat. What do you think? I've got a little button here if I want to close it up more. I've got a separating zipper and a button at the bottom. Of course, now I'm on camera, the zipper wants to get stuck. There's another button over here. I mean, it just depends on how much I want to zip it up, if I want to zip it up at all. I mean, I could just wear it like this, which is probably honestly how it's going to go most of the time. And, you know, you've got the back. I mean, I kind of like it. It is really heavy. The arms are probably a little tighter than I'd like. I think if I make this pattern again, I'll make the arms and armholes a little looser. So I definitely have to wear a tank top underneath it, but that's okay. What do you think? It's a beautiful afternoon. It's not too hot, not too cold. Sun is out. I had my doubts about that earlier today because it was pretty dang cloudy. But anyway, we're out to get some steps in. Yeah, high 60s. So we're, we're gonna go walk, get some steps in before we eat dinner. It's all good. Got the jacket done, I'm so happy. And I cut out a couple of bags. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it here. Um, it's a bag I already made, and my daughter saw it, and she says, can you make me one of those for my grandson? And so she says, I need it for all of his baby stuff. I have to bring me with me when we go anywhere. Sure. Like, Oma's going to say no. It's not going to happen. Junior wants to make it. I know, right? All right, I'll be back. Hey, guys. Hey. Hell yeah, yeah. Let's try that. So it is lunchtime on May 31st, Wednesday. I was planning on doing some sewing today before I go make the trip to the airport to get my dad. But, well, <laughs> I need parts for the project I'm working on for my daughter, specifically interfacing, and I don't have any more. I've been actually pretty good about using up what I had in the closet, which is great. Um, but I don't have anything that's going to even remotely work. I'm all out of that. So I don't even have anything I can make work. So we're going to leave a little earlier for the airport. I have to pick up some dry cleaning anyway. And I'll go to Joanne's and pick up some interfacing. I am going to wear the new coat I finished last night. So I'll let you know if anybody notices or says anything. I always have mixed feelings about that, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I almost forgot to take my supplements and my bone broth, so 
Let's do that now. I don't need it to be hot hot, but I don't like to drink my bone broth cold. Yeah, that's a thing. Since I don't want to start the sewing project because I don't have all the right materials yet, I need to get a couple more things and I'm going to make two bags. I might as well just wait until I have everything I need. Um, and I don't want to drag another project out because I need to, the, yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take a little inventory of thread because I am using up a lot of thread and I need some spools of thread, I think. And I might sit, there's a couple things in my drawer of my sewing table that aren't right, quite working. In fact, I've got a bin full of just sewing machine parts, just random giant bin of sewing machine parts. So I think I'm going to sit with those in the chair, listen to a podcast and sort them a bit because yeah that's a thing all right I'll hey be guys back. all right i wanted to say really quick while it was on my mind and i forget before i forget um when you're creating in your cr uh, creative space whatever that looks like if it involves sewing and needlework at some point you're going to need thread even if the materials you use otherwise are upcycled thrifted found in your closet because you haven't worn them in a million years whatever it may be um, and thread is not really one of those things that you can thrift or upcycle unless you're doing some sort of vintage thread collection because, um, or, or I should say, or doing a slow stitch like wall hanging kind of piece, not a garment, because you'll just have problems with breakage and it's just going to be a nightmare in your machine. And so, yeah, anyway, uh, that's one of the things on my list today thread and interfacing so yeah all right let's go get it done and then head to the airport I'll be back guys my last um, bag making experiment I actually bought some cotton strapping or belting I don't know what you want to call it because I thought I had some th some in my art room but I wondered if I gave it away when I did the purge because I couldn't find it I knew that kind of sounded wrong but okay I couldn't find it I was cleaning out the desk today because I was having trouble finding some sewing machine tools and I just dumped everything in one container that wasn't working for me anymore. Guess what I found? A whole entire roll. I must have five or six yards. So that's something I don't need to buy again. It's always interesting when you know you have things in your creative space, but you've put them away in a very safe place. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Guys, it is Thursday. June 1st, 2.31 p.m. 
And yes, my hair is curly. I was trying something new with my hair. What do you think? Um, I finished a bag today, which is why I haven't vlogged until now. I've been sewing all, all day. Um, daughter requested one of these square um, cosmetic bags. I use one for daily drawing stuff. She requested one for grandson's bits and bobs she's got to bring with her. Um, so yeah, so I made a blue one. I mean, he is a boy, but, and I'm a traditionalist. Um, and I couldn't find anything else I like, so I went with blue. But then I found for the lining, hold on. I found this cute fabric with bears and bunnies on it. I mean, it's very cute. So anyway, that's done. I am gonna make one more, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now or do it tomorrow, so. I am gonna clean up the mess I made making this one though. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I lied. I've started the green one. <laughs> anyway, this is what happens and I just get lost and before I know it, it's six o'clock. Is that bad? I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.53 a.m. Friday, June something. I don't know. June 1st, I think. No, 2nd. There is a lot of something going on in the woods. I don't know. I think they're trimming. Anyway, um, I'm headed out to the grocery store because we have family dinner night tonight and I need to go get some stuff. So I'm going to go do that and then come home and I've got some chores I need to do, things I need to get ready for, all of that kind of stuff. So, we also might be babysitting tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to, so is Bob. We don't have to go grocery shopping because I'm doing some of it today. So yeah, looking forward to however much time, big or small, we get to spend with grandson. That would be fun and yeah. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. saw is me in my blanket coat and um, I ordered some large buttons online. I was worried about the quality of them because I couldn't see them and I wanted a large statement button but in a plain white color because um, the coat has a lot of color in it as you saw if you watched that clip. And um, so anyway, I ordered some buttons online. None of my shops had what I exactly what I wanted. I'm very happy with the quality and I did get the buttons on the coat today and the buttonholes. So that's done, yay. Um, I also, yesterday, I didn't film too much yesterday because I just we got really busy and it was family dinner night and all that stuff. Um, but I did, um, if you've been following me on social media, they did make two more spring roll pouches. It's an Etsy pattern. It's not my pattern. I will link it down below. She has really great instructions of the pattern and video tutorials for the pattern. Um, I do recommend it. It's a cute little pattern, opens flat. I'll put some pictures here. And um, my daughter requested one for um, grandson's um, toiletries when they travel. He's a newborn, so you know, you gotta have this not sucker and the, you know, all the things. Y'all know if you have kids, you know. Um, so anyway, I can't get that open right now. So anyway, I had a little bit of fabric from the green one that I made. And that one was for me, for when I'm traveling, I was thinking that would, you know, I might really enjoy having that for a travel bag because it does open flat and all my makeup and toiletries are right there. And, um, but I had a little bit of fabric left over and I made a, another little plain, simple, simple zippered pouch out of the scraps for just for the shower stuff to take into the shower. Um, sometimes you, are sharing a bathroom or the bathroom's really teeny and so then your toiletries are in the bedroom and I just wanted a little bag to take the essentials with me into the shower I can do the rest of it in the bedroom kind of thing if you travel you know anyway I also had some linen left over that my daughter gifted me and I made a vest out of it a while back 
and I didn't want to get rid of the extra because it's linen. It's really beautiful quality linen that I had dyed it that came out a beautiful color. And I think I draped it on Matilda yesterday and I think I'm going to make some sort of a uh, login look boho inspired um, tank top with it. I'm probably going to add some um, lace crochet doilies and things to it in different places. Probably re-dye the whole thing. I don't remember what color this is. I do have some dyes. If I can figure it out, I'll dye the lace first, sew them together, and then if they're kind of off, re-dye the whole thing. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's a thing that'll be working on. Um, and then the little ones from next door were over. It's been a busy morning already, can you tell? <laughs> um, and they were playing with my computer printer and making copies on the printer, and it's almost out of ink, so I was fine with that. Um, I was trying to enlarge the spring roll pouch pattern to go back to that pattern, and I was overthinking it. Hold on. And, um, I wanted to see if I could enlarge it. This is a copy of the front of the pattern. It looks like one of those square cosmetic cases. And yes, of course you could just buy one. I mean, but you know, what's the fun in that? Um, so I used either a tapestry fabric or duck cloth for the outside and cotton for the inside. That does make it a little challenging to make. Um, but I made it work. Um, she does have a great pattern and great tutorials on her YouTube channel, plus good instructions. So I do recommend it. Anyway, um, I wanted to enlarge it and I was way overthinking it. And then the kids were playing with the printer this morning and I had a light bulb go off in my head and said, you idiot. So I took an uncut printed copy of the pattern and I... Photo, I copied it with the printer and printed it at 150%. And so the small one is the original size and the big one now is the enlarged one. And I don't need it to be that big. I just kind of want to make one that's a big one just to see what it's like. I do this. I made the Swiss Army medic bag recently. A video for that is coming out. And the pattern isn't perfected by any means, um, but I didn't need it for anything. I just wanted to see if I could. Um, I still have the pattern, but if you want a copy of it and you want to see the full tutorial, not the, not the edited one, you got to be a patron and supporter because it's over there. Um, anyway, we're going to be babysitting this afternoon. Yay! And we have some other stuff coming up, but that's for next week's vlog. I know, right? So next week's vlog is going to be pretty exciting and I'm going to take you around with me and yeah, so like, share, subscribe, maybe think about hitting that notification button so you're aware when the new videos come out. Um, Cause you know what? Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. All right. That's it for today. And that's it for this week. I got to cut the vlog early cause I got to edit it today. All right. I hope that you've all had a great week and a great day, that you've been able to stay creative when you have some free time, that you're enjoying life and taking a deep breath of the fresh air and all of that stuff. Go out and have a great day, have a great week and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I sure would appreciate the free support. Like, share, subscribe and become a patron if you can. That would be great. All right, that's it for now. Bye guys.